If you're looking to support the Locks and Load YouTube channel, I would like for you guys to go to locksandloadfirearms.com and support the channel that way by purchasing a t-shirt or one of the other merches on there. If you're looking to support the Wagunda Nation uh, store, go to wagundanation.net and pick up a patch, a hat, or a t-shirt again from one of our Teespring stores on the site. If you're looking to get firearm instruction for me, locksandloadfirearminstruction.com. If you also want to know about certain things before you buy it, um, Box and Load Consultation Service on that same website will get you right. If you also want to support the Locks and Load Firearm channel, go to Patreon, become a member. A dollar gets you in, five dollars gets you more access, ten dollars gets you all that, plus help support the channel. So guys, get in there, rock it out, Locks and Load out. What up guys, Locks and Load Firearm Reviews here today. Alright guys, before we hop into the review, I want to give a quick shameless plug to my homie up in Harlem, New York. I'm here in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. Harlem, we're shooting all over the world. We're shipping all over the world. Super Gorilla, a bunch of other products. www.elmersinharlem.com You heard about COVID, you heard about diabetes, herpes, cancer, all kind of shit. We're curing it through all natural products. Let's get it. What we doing? Alright, so I'll be getting all my sea moss and uh, herbal substances from him. You know, all organic, everything, you know, if you're into that type of stuff, you know, he, uh, he's one of the people I go to. So, uh, you know, quick, quick, quick shameless plug to him. Check him out if you want to get some of that stuff too. All right, so hopping into the review, guys. Today is going to be on my new security belt, right? And so this belt was sent to me about a month or so ago um, from Ginger's Tactical out in Poland, right? So huge shout out to Gender's Tactical for uh, noticing your boy all the way out there in Poland um, and sending out this belt. Um, like I said, I've been using it for the past month and no, I've been rocking with it and it's honestly become my security belt now. So let's bring her into the screen. All right. So here she is. This is my Gender's Tactical um molly belt right let me just get a quick look at it okay so this is the ginger's tactical molly belt as you can you know here by the name molly belt it's a belt that has molly so um basically um is there anything like brand new in the market no it's a two-piece belt system um, it's lightweight, lighter than some of the belts I actually have and the ones I've used in the past. So that's what I, I like about it. Um, but besides that, it serves the same function as the other belts. But there are some things about the Ginger's Tactical Belt that I kind of like um, about about it that um, some of the other ones don't really have. All right. So again, we're going to go into the uh, review, uh, get into my pros and cons, and then my thoughts at the end. So coming out, you have a, you, the belt system itself is a two inch belt. So you got a two inch outer belt. And then on the inside, you got a two inch inner belt. And so this two inch inner belt is the one that goes through your belt loops. And then once it goes through your belt loops and you got that tightened down, you will take the outer belt and then you will wrap it around that inner belt and then lock it in place with the Cobra belt, get your size correct and then boom. All right, so it's made of high strength nylon webbing. Uh, it's got molly on the side, so if you wanna take ma your magazine pouches or dump pouches and actually molly it to uh, the molly, you can do so and it will actually support those items and it's not gonna be tearing away or sagging. So I like how they use good, uh, good materials for that. So you don't want a sagging, sagging gun belt because it's not gonna support the items and then it's gonna look it's not gonna look professional. It's gonna look like you bought a cheap belt. So, on the outer belt, it is rigid, but not super rigid. You can kind of bend it, but it's still rigid enough to support all your ammunition and all your gear on your belt. And of course, like you have for your, you know, all your other typical gun belts, you got your Cobra buckle. Um, made of metal, very nice. Um, it has, like they, they call it enlarged ears. So it's a little easier for you to hit it because it's, uh, I guess it's like, it's a base using like a charging handle, like oversized charging handle versus like a mil spec charging handle. If you get what I'm understand, what I'm saying. All right. So 
besides that, good. it's a great belt and it works. And I also want to thank them because they sent out, I got this on the belt, the Ginger's Tactical uh, Tourniquet Holder. So you can mount this on your belt up front like, I, well, like how I do. So you got a little piece of Velcro there and the belt will go over. And you can wear your tourniquet like that, how I typically do. Or if you want to put on your plate carrier somewhere else, you can do so if you really want. And I also want to thank them for sending out their magazine holsters. This is for their pistol. This is for the rifle. And so these work well. I like them. The only reason I don't have them on the belt is because I got the, the S-TAC Kiwis. And I like the S-TAC Kiwis because uh, the magazine came with the Molly on the magazine um, carrier. So I was able to attach my dump pouch to keep things slimmer and not have stuff stacked out of my belt. All right. So running through before we get into the pros and cons, because people are going to ask, Locks, what do you got on your belt? All right. So as you can see here, I got the S-TAC Kiwi um, double magazine pouch, but this is the, the mediums, All right? Because I use... 21 round Glock mags. I mean, these are mag pools. Yeah, P mags. 21 round mag pool P mags. So I got two 21 round mags uh, for backups. And I got the STAC Kiwi medium um, magazine holster uh, for my 30 rounder. And I got that because I can attach my dump pouch to the Molly of the magazine carrier. And then, you know, dump pouch. Could use be used for anything. I've used dump pouches from putting food, drinks, um, knives, and guns. I found on people at certain events. You know, it's a dump pouch. You could use it for anything. To be honest, I've got my flashlight. This one is from PowerTech. I've done a video on this before. This is the E9R G4. This is my security light. I like it, um, it's durable, it hasn't let me down. I do like how it's got the knurling on the front. So I guess I gotta get back. All right, I don't have medical on the belt because I typically wear it on a fanny pack. And so it's still around my waist, but not attached to the belt. So if like, if I'm in a vehicle or if I actually need to get to the items in there, I can just take it and just swing around to the front and access, this, access all my items there or make it more comfortable for no, the vehicle I'm sitting in. All right, over here, got my Safari Land holster uh, with my Glock 45 9mm and Surefire X300B. Um, 17 round mag in there. Uh, okay. Trigicon, <clears throat> let me lean this way because it is loaded. Trigicon HD XR night sights. So they glow at night. Really like those sights. Prefer night sights. And then I got the tourniquet on the front. And then, you know, the leg strap for the holster. Oh boy, it's pouring now. I don't know if you can hear it. All right, and so that is my belt setup. I like to keep it simple, uh, especially doing security. Um, now eventually I will have to add more items as I get more qualifications. You know, once I get baton, uh, handcuff, OC, um, taser, we're gonna have to add that stuff uh, to the belt more likely. Um, Probably not the taser, I probably put the taser on the vest. Um, but yeah, add more stuff to the belt. So I don't like to put too much stuff on here because the job itself is already gonna have a lot of, gonna dictate that I have a lot of gear on the belt already. And so you don't want too much stuff. I've done it in the past where you know you load up your belt and then if you're using it for a while, it really starts to weigh down your hips. You know, it just like feels like you just got a lot on your hips. So you don't really wanna do that. Especially doing security. Um, 90% of security, to be honest, is just standing there, being a presence. And so you really don't want to be standing there with nine AR mags, a belt full of ammunition, and just a whole bunch of bullshit. And then it's eight, 12, 14, 16 plus hours. And then you're just over there dying, holding all that shit on your body. So, you know, really be keen about what you have on your stuff. Um, and don't put too much on it. All right. So the pros of this belt, it's a good belt, lightweight, carries all the items I need. Um, I have no problems with it supporting the weight. I have no problems with it sagging, does everything I need it to. So it's a good belt. I'll just put it like that. It's a good belt. Um, you buy it, 
I'm not really gonna have any qualms about it. Now, the cons about it, and I guess you can call it a con, if you, if you really plan on using the inner belt for concealed carry, because the inner belt itself is very flimsy, right? And so, no, if you have like uh, like a small handgun, it'll probably it'll support that. But once you start getting like Glock 19, CZP07 size, it's not ideal to be something to, uh, to have some to be concealed carrying with that thin belt. That's not gonna support all that weight. So that's a con. Um, this holster likes to move a little bit. Like when I put the belt on, sometimes my holster will be up here, sometimes it'll be back here. So I just have to slide it. As you can see, it'll slide. But when it's actually attached to you, it's not moving around. It just, when you pick it up, it just likes to kind of slide around on you. But besides that, those are like literally like the only two cons. And I can't, they're petty cons, right? You know, it's not really something like, well, I'm not, all right, cool. I'm not using it for concealed carry. All right, so it's not a con. All right, the holster, all right, cool. You just move it. All right. So exactly, it's not a huge con, just like real nitpicky shit. Um, but besides that, honestly, like I said, it's my security belt now. So it wouldn't be my security belt if it wasn't good enough to do the job. And it really is. So I do want to thank them for this. Um, and I do want to show you guys the, uh, the belt on the screen from the website. And we're going to go do that right now. All right. Welcome back. All right, so this is the belt on the website. And so you see the price is about $105. I know it's coming from Poland, so it looks funky. But it's about $105 for this belt. And so one thing I do like is the amount of camo they have. So, you know, they got multi-cam, as you see. Coyote brown, black, rainy green, wolf gray, multi-cam black, multi-cam tropic. Multicam Arid, Multicam Alpine for you snow people, and Pincot Green Zone. I don't know, I guess that must be some type of European camo. Bam. Not sure. But that's the belt on the website. And so go here if you're looking to get this belt. It's a Ginger's Molly belt. Great belt, have no qualms about it. They got a lot of sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, double XL for you big boys. And I think it's really got everything you want, all the camos you want, it's in stock. Um, has all the sizes you want and really does a great job. So I have no qualms about Ginger's Tactical guys. And I wanna give a shout out to them for sending your boy the belt and supporting the YouTube channel. And speaking of support, supporting the YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know get notifications of when I drop a video, right? And also, if you want to support the YouTube channel, make sure you go to Patreon. That's the best way to support the YouTube channel. Become a member there. Um, I'll also help you guys out by posting deals, uh, gun and ammo sales, other gears um, that come my way, and I extend it to you all. I know it comes at a discount and all that. So check it out, great stuff. Um, I hate this part because I always forget. Um, all right, whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. So make sure you stay dangerous, stay strapped, and locks all that.